So Missy, yes. um, tell me how you got into, because I believe you have kind of an interesting story behind that. Oh, uh, I, I don't know if it's interesting. Is it interesting? Um, I never thought about, I, I had watched it um, uh, like with my boyfriend at the time. And that was just my, my only intro thing. I would go to the, you know, the DVD store when you had to buy DVDs. Oh my God. Yeah. What's that? The good old, when there was money in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those those days. And um, then we went to a convention uh, back when it was Erotica L.A. OK, uh, out here. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And uh, and just as fans, we went there and I got to meet my idol, Tara Patrick. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's weird. Her and I are friends now. I call her mama kitty. Like, yeah, she's circle. really sweet. Full circle. She's really sweet. And she just got married. Yeah, she's living in Italy. She has her baby. Or is, she's not a baby anymore. But yeah. yeah. Uh, so everyone kept coming up to me asking for photos because I had big boobs and a dress on, which is basically the only requirement to yeah. in not even the big boob parts even yeah. the requirement. And that got the wheels turning. And so, you know, I talked to my partner at the time and he's like, you know what, start with girl, girl. And if you like it, that's a way to dip your toe in. Yeah. And I started and it just took off. Yeah. And then after a while, I started taking wieners. Yeah. And then uh, eight years later, I'm still here. So someone li still likes me. What was your first scene? Um, my first scene was for a company. Um, it was for L Factor. And I don't even talk about the scenes because I, do, I don't look like me in them. I, I, there's a difference between being thin and being like porn, yeah. a porn friendly body. Oh, I, I, I did not take very good care of myself at that time. So, But uh, I tell everyone my first scene was uh, for Digital Playground, The Cherry 2 by, okay. by Kay Brandt. That's like when I, when I like started being me. Right, right, right. Yeah. The, the Missy Martinez that you are today? Yes, that everyone hates. <laughs> the infamous. Every, who hates you? I feel like everyone loves you. I, I hope so. I, I mean, I love really you, are. and I, you. my opinion is the only one that matters. Right? So. That's what I've heard, yeah. That's what I've heard. Only your opinion matters. And I'm mm. like, yeah, that's right. This is true. I'm good with that. This is true. I like that. Um, so who was it with? Uh, who was uh, that, that scene, my first scene? It was a girl named Rose. That was just her name, Rose. She showed up to set. Um, I hate it when girls only have one name. It's not the 90s I'm anymore. I'm like, do you, you know how people are going to try to Google you? And guess what's going to happen when they Google Rose? You're not going to fucking come up. No. The fucking like botanical garden nursery is going to come up. I, I don't know how many you have to suck for your for the name Rose to come up before the flower. There's not enough in the world. Uh, maybe if you suck the Pope stick and you put it on YouTube or oh, something. Oh, maybe. 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 that There's an idea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Note to self. But I honestly, though, like, ugh, the whole thing with that... Okay, I believe that the more you sexually repress human beings, the more fucked up they're going to be. Mm -hmm. So, you take... Okay, you take this, you take these people and you say, you can never, ever, ever have sex or have sexual thoughts about anything or, and it's a fucking sin if you do what, if you think about the things that your body is biologically pushing you to think mm -hmm. about, because we're all sexual creatures. The sex drive is really strong in people because the human race needs to procreate. We need to populate the earth, which we've completely overdone. But, you know, that's a basic, that's our nature. We're yeah. like, no, you can't have any of those things. And if you even, and we're going to give you this incredibly guilty conscience around that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't surprise me that those sexual deviances come out in other ways. Yeah, I was going to say that's how paraphilias are formed. Yeah, where all these bizarre the sexual things where it's things that aren't even sexual in nature yeah. or then people get into the more uh, violent or yeah. more depraved yeah, absolutely. type of acts because they don't have, I, I don't know if it's the guidelines or just that they've never been able to explore. Yeah. So it automatically goes to that place. I mean, the more you repress human sexuality, just the more fucked up it gets. You look at the countries that have, you know, the, that is illegal in and those have like the, the most violence against women mm -hmm. and like the higher um statistics of rape like in india where it's illegal there is so much rape is so prolific oh, yeah. there it's terrible and you look at places like amsterdam where prostitution is legal it's one of like the safest cities mm -hmm. yeah i and, mean and there's not, a lot of drug use there but there's almost no violent crime yeah and they're and the women there they're Workers aren't viewed as second class citizens. They're right. like, oh, that's just their job. They're, yeah. they're it's like working in a mine. <laughs> it's working in a mine. <laughs> a different type of shaft, though. <laughs> but uh, that's what the one thing I, I I love America. I love everything about it. I just hate how sexually repressed we are here. Yes, much violence as we want. Much violence as we yeah. want. D kids, yes, they love it. Kids yeah. love violence, but oh, oh no, 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 that's a buoy. That's a nipple. Oh my Don't gosh. breastfeed in public. No, I know, right? It's crazy, isn't it? And it's funny though too because America is one of the biggest consumers of. Mm-hmm. 
Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.